right, so we just got a leak that honestly comes at no surprise to me, and I'll explain why later. But according to this leak, it seems like we are in fact getting Sonic Colors remastered. So we're going to take a look at the leak, and then we're going to discuss the whole situation and why I believe this to be true. So first, someone added me saying, according to the German dubbing studio for Sonic games, they listed Sonic Colors remastered as their current project. All Sonic games until Generations didn't get a German dub, so it's very likely that Sega is playing a remaster of Colors with new dubs. Also, don't get confused that it says 2020. Sonic games are always getting dubbed many months before they get released. Forces, for example, got released in November 2017, but they fully dubbed the game before June 2017. And the person that they added also said as well, the original colors on Wii only got an English and Japanese dub, so now they're dubbing it for German as well. I looked at the website. You can look at the source in the description as well. This is a legitimate company that dubs games in German, iksample.de. And yes, when you go on a website, it shows all the things they worked on year after year after year year and they put in 2020 sonic colors remaster and even on their home page even though they used the is that a fire and ice image it still says when you mouse over it sonic colors remastered so given that this is a legitimate company that does dubbing they've got a whole list of their projects here they're not some dud company they even did breath of the wild it says this very much seems like a genuine leak I, it's not some site that was just made yesterday and they just put this there randomly and honestly again the reason why i'm more inclined to believe this is because when i made my adventure remakes video not the zipper one recently where they claim that it was from the past but the original one where I thought it was going to be a new thing that was based off essentially old information from someone who knew an insider or something it wasn't an actual insider but like secondhand information kind of thing and after me and gamer guy made those videos apparently he got corrected by someone else who I guess was more in the know and had more recent information and he said that the adventure remakes weren't happening this is after we made that video back in was it February so I was a bit annoyed at that because I was like, Whoa. The last thing we want is for the adventure remakes to not be real and look where we are like Zippo said you know they're old so but then apparently they also mentioned to him that a colors remaster was on the way so this is something that was on my mind for a while because I had gotten some you know third-hand information and I didn't make a video on the whole colors remaster thing before because it hadn't leaked and I didn't want to reveal that information that I'd been told obviously and honestly I didn't want to believe it <laughs> so I was like let me just wait and let's hope they announce the adventure remakes and then now the Zippo things come out and now these leaks are happening happening it's like yeah the colors remaster is real so a few months ago i thought we were getting adventure remakes this year and now it looks like we are getting colors remastered so <laughs> life hits you funny sometimes doesn't it <laughs> it hits you funny anyway like i'm not here to dunk on the colors remaster supposed that this is real because i'm i'm pretty sure this is probably real i'm not here to dunk on it from a business standpoint it makes logical sense for sega to remaster colors and for those of you who still don't get it it's a remaster it's not a remake okay it's not from the ground up it's basically an updated port before you go on thinking they're gonna give you all new graphics and all I'm just saying I said that they should be porting more games of course I wanted them to port the games that I like you know like heroes and unleashed and things like that but yes colors was a very well received game and if you check Metacritic it's the most well received modern title of the last decade you know it beat generations for some reason and yeah a lot of people like colors and the fact that it was only on the Wii running at 480p 30 fps is just ludicrous i only beat colors on emulator like i played it at 1440p with the 60 fps hack and visually it held up pretty well like that was just running at a higher resolution it looked way better than it did on the wii there was no like texture pack or anything like that and it still looked really good so to be able to play it like on modern consoles i'm assuming this would be on everything right like ps5 series x you know pc switch as well i mean yeah i mean if it was on the wii it should be able to run on the switch like i'm I mean, come on, you can't fuck that up. But yeah, assuming it's going to be on everything, even the previous gen, like PS4, Xbox One, it's going to be good money for them because it was a well-received game. They've got that under their belt, you know. As much as I wanted something else, it makes sense that they would port this, you know. I know it's called a remaster, but given that this is Sega, I doubt they're going to go ham on the remastering. I think it's just going to be a straight port, but it's 60 FPS and higher resolution. Which, I mean, companies have called games remasters off of things like that in the past. Like, bump up the resolution, bump up the frame rate, it's a, it's, a, it's a remaster you know i don't think they're going to go here's the higher res textures and here's the new lighting engine i don't think they're going to do all that i don't think they're going to place colors in hedgehog engine 2 and do a madness on that i could be wrong i admit that but 
Given that they did Adventure DX ports to Steam and they added purple borders, my guess is it's gonna be a straight up res, double the frame rate to 60, call it a day, okay? And since the game already works without like, you know, the Wii remote, cause they have the GameCube controller support, it's gonna be easy to get control support as well. They obviously they'll add in like the PlayStation controls and the Xbox controls, like they'll do the basic shit like that. Unless there's only a Nintendo thing, cause that could also be a possibility, cause it doesn't say what it's gonna be on. This is just a German double word, so they, they just dub the vocals. For all you know it could be a switch exclusive and then you have to play it on nintendo hardware like it could be that i remember some people saying in the past before that nintendo has some proprietary shit with their engine and they use some of that on colors i don't know if that's the case and it's only on switch then that kind of sucks but it is what it is but i think for a game that was as well received as colors it would make sense to put on everything and get as many cells as they can but again they do make the most cells of nintendo anyway so who knows but yeah sonic colors remastered um if it comes out and it's on like steam or whatever i'll definitely cop it like i'm not the biggest fan of colors but i did say that colors had some of the best control for a boost title in 3d in quotes you know it was more fluid than say like generations or unleashed boost control and those are games that i like more than colors so i'm just saying like it felt nice to control which means that if modders come in and put in some stage mods that are actually of the third dimension it could be decent for like modding potential you know like i mean jen's modding was great but like man it's been a whole fucking decade and we need something different so colors mods in 4k could it could be a fun time it would be crazy to see fully 3d levels like in colors like imagine a generations project in colors like they could do so much with the mods there you know my only hope is that if they do come out with this thing and it does well that they finally 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 go and port some other shit you know like i know they're not gonna do 06 i get that but like heroes on steam maybe in widescreen heroes on everything maybe like unleashed maybe you know like will the request for that like i get the colors is the one that has the nicest stats you know the metacritic and the review scores i get that so fine you're gonna do that one first i understand it's a business but after that we want to see heroes we want to see unleashed we want to see rush like rush needs its own shit you know what i mean like rush in 4k 60 would be a dream like oh my god like advanced games like those that i want to i don't even think advanced to ran at 60 fps that shit was always like laggy as fuck and i love that game but there's so much they could be doing with these ports i hope that this one gets supported so they could see that there's a demand for more sonic ports or remasters or whatever because man i really just don't want to put all my eggs into this next game which we don't know how long we'll be waiting for so if we, if we can get some some ports in this bitch some remasters the rivals games like i even said before like on twitter like the rivals games you could put them into like one pack add online multiplayer and that'll be a fun little switch on online game or something like rivals one and two or something they could battle royale rivals for all i care like they battle around pac-man that shit's lit but there's so much they could be doing with their old material that i'm surprised they're not doing but we'll see how it all pans out anyway so let me know what you guys think about this are you excited to be potentially seeing sonic colors remastered do you think it's going to be on everything or do you think it's just going to be on nintendo and what other sonic games do you want to see get ported soon honestly i just hope this isn't all we're left with this year <laughs> We don't know when this is coming out, but I mean, it could be a case of, oh, the main title isn't ready, so here's a port for the year but i mean that would have been fine if it was unleashed but i'm just saying like sorry the main title's not ready here's colors <laughs> oh my god again it's a good business decision i'm just saying like personally you know if that's all we get by the end of this year just colors <laughs> you know you know <laughs> So, you know, I'm not gonna get into it. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non Sonic channel, the link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, do Remy out.